Welcome to the last part of the castle tutorial. In this part I'm going to show you how to build some parts of the interior or pretty much of the decoration of the uh, rooms inside. Well, not really the interior itself. So I'm not going to build chairs and uh, tables and stuff. But uh, how I'm going to show you how to decorate it. But only for the major parts because there are some parts, for example, like the insides of the towers we are looking at right now. Um, I didn't re really do anything to them besides doing some uh, layers and do, uh, making a staircase and some ladders up because the the spot or the space in there is pretty tight as it is and I don't didn't want to add anything complex to it. So yeah, but let's stop talking and let's start building. The very first thing I want to do is to make a second layer up here, so basically this is is going to be the second floor, for that I'm taking planks. I'm just going to fill them in right here on the layer where you can see the double slabs from the walkway outside. And yeah, I'm just going to skip that part because it's a little bit long. Then I want to start to prepare the walls. As you can see in front of here, I left a little bit yeah, ceiling away from here simply because I'm going to make a kind of entrance hall here. And this would simply disturb this, the look. And now for preparing the walls, pretty much leave one block free here so that we cover up the cobblestone patches here. Fill in the walls pretty much up until you hit the ceiling. And you do the same thing on this side of the wall. So it's like this. And the same thing on these two parts. So pretty much what you do, you do it in this part here on that and on the other two parts. Not back here, simply because otherwise it would be too tight back there. And now the last preparation I'm going to do is to take smooth stone and simply I'm going to fill in one more layer for the floor and pretty much you can leave those two lines in front of here free. Well pretty much, yeah. And I'm telling you that you should leave them free and then I'm misplacing blocks. Great. Um, just do that up until the end. And in the front here we're going to make, as I said, the entrance hall where it's going to look a little bit different, but at first it's easier to just fill in everything with the stone. Ta-da! Okay, so now let's build the entrance hall. Pretty much, first of all, what you want to do is to take stone bricks and put it three up here and three here, then one block in diagonal, a log, leave one block free, then another log, same thing on this side, and fill this block in the middle with um, stone bricks. And then what you want to do is to, to build these up until you hit the ceiling. Uh, for the floor, what you want to do is to take as well the stone bricks, put the first line in like that like this and then take double slabs there's two of them like that and then going out from here one here three like this two here and two there um, another two yeah and then another two then a line straight like this and three again. So that you've got this pattern where you have two blocks in the middle of three. And then you wanna simply replace all of the smooth stone blocks here in this entrance area uh, by the stone bricks. Like that and those two as well. Yeah, now just build those up 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 and away. Okay, now to make this entrance hall look a little bit prettier. First of all, what you want to do is to take um, stairs and place them upside down here. Then a row of regular blocks in front of it. Another row of stairs. Row of blocks. And that's it. Same thing on this side. So stone brick stairs upside down. One row of regular uh, ones. A stair row. And another one like that. And then you want to place an upside down stone brick stair up here. Now for this side it's going to be a little bit different. So first of all two upside down stairs here. 
then we're going to fill in these upper two rows and down here you want to leave three blocks free then place two upside down stairs and then another upside down one here and there and a regular one there then it's an upside down stair up here three like this and one here and one there oops there and then another stair row and there we go this is the entrance hall well pretty much what you can do is to place a block like this here or I don't know if it's even cool to use the new cobblestone walls for example like this oh, let's just do this as you may have noticed I'm playing with uh, chat options turned off but still with uh, the interface um, screened in which is due to the new option to yeah hide the chat which is kind of cool but as you may have already noticed I am better at building in F1 mode than I am with building in regular mode so I misclick quite often weird I know uh, anyway so this is the entrance hall so now let's move on to this room so as you can see I already prepared the red carpet for you guys and yeah, pretty much what I did was to continue building the double slabs up until this point where you have one block free from this corner here which is where the staircase to the second floor starts and this ends so from here as I said spoiler alert we're going to make a staircase and pretty much this is going to be a simple stair case <laughs> so with half a block of a race that oops like here so we go up one block two blocks three blocks like this and then we add another half a block here and here you just want to Place two blocks here, two there, four here, four here, pretty much four here as well. Same thing here, and there, and four, and two times four, like this. Now for this upper part here, uh, let's just take the slabs and then go to the side one block then place one here and two in the corner like that then go another block like this and two more so bye bye torch so, and bye bye torch number two like that and you want to fill in the rest with stone bricks that oh god I'm what I'm if I get rid of this one, it's going to be dark. So let's just light this place. Whoop. Whoops. Light this place up. And let's do it. Now before we go to the next level, let's just yeah, decorate these, this lower level once more. So leave two blocks free here, then start building two pillars with a block between them up until you hit the ceiling once again place a torch between them same thing of course on this side so two blocks free and then one here and one there then take stone brick just like that so four blocks up here um, well no uh, six blocks then two blocks Beneath that, oh god, I'm genius. Um, then a stair upside down here, another one upside down there, two more like this, a slab here, and then you do the same thing from the other side, so pretty much this.
okay like this and now we're just going to add some stabilizing parts up here so let's take stone brick blocks like this Zero stairs like that same thing here and there and there and there and there and there and to make this look a little bit prettier here let's add two more Now let's go on with the staircase. First of all, you want to take stone brick stairs and continue building them up. And pretty much what you want to do is to build them up until you are through the ceiling. So like that. Let's get rid of those blocks. This. Same thing on this side. And then you want to leave those two blocks like they are and then add one block here and then pretty much go up there's always place two blocks so now it looks like this and now to make this look a little bit better what we're going to do is to leave this like that add another block here another block there and one here and then pretty much what we're going to do is to take the stairs as well and just continue building those upside down stairs to the side like this. Now what you can do is to take fences or I'm going to try this out with the stone uh, st cobblestone walls. Make it like this and then some fences. Looks alright. Yeah. And when you do the same thing on the other side, you will eventually find yourself with something like this. And I think this looks pretty cool. So first of all, what you can do here, since we have a little bit of space here, you can make like a mechanism with redstone to make a hidden door, for example. Or you can leave those away or whatever. I'm just going to fill them in for the moment. Like that. And now let's go upstairs. Well, basically, I didn't do anything to the castle in the in the video here, but what you could do is to once again kind of decorate this here. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> Just try something. The problem with that is that we have a half slab floor here, and I don't I don't want to set this floor one block down, but you'll figure something cool out. So now, uh, up here I'm not going to show you a lot, only a small thing, which is pretty much that I'm going to make some pillars here. For that, I'm going to leave two blocks free from the places where, we, where I have uh, those log pillars, like this. Then I'm going to go up six blocks. Same thing on this side. Like that. Then, by taking half slabs and placing two of them here and some of them here and connecting them here and here and wait, I gotta prepare this and now I'm going to take an upside down stair, place it like this Take another slab, take a full block like this, so m like making an archway. Just going for just for the looks of it for the moment, I'm going to make it here as well. Like here and there. Okay. Here, there, slab, slab, full block. And then I'm going to build this up for two blocks here and two blocks there and now as you can see we have our supporting here so what we can do is to make this into a, into a second archway like that, like that and let's take yeah, a full block here and a full block there and one is more here and now when we take stairs, 
and place them like this and like that and fill in the rest by using planks we will end up with a nice roof here back here we can't do the, the, the same thing because there's the beacon up here but yeah that's pretty much it so back here what I'm going to do is to add a second layer of this wall Oops. like this so I'm go simply going to copy it as you may have noticed there are a few places on the uh, on this build where I uh, used walls which consume more than one block at the at the part um, on the first floor as you can see there were three blocks we used for the walls of course you can do it differently but yeah th of course this way it looks better in my opinion but you have smaller place on the inside of course and yeah pretty much after filling this in here and you, you will wind up with those patches of course these are the blocks we used to cover up the holes in the front wall but I think this looks pretty cool when you have the whole thing finished oops like that oh, let's just leave it there because this way the wall looks a little bit more interesting because there are those seemingly random blocks well they are not really random because they are just mirrored to each side but you know I guess you know what I mean you could as well throw in some more randomized and that way I think that looks pretty cool um, now what I'm going to do back here is to add three blocks here and three blocks there and then kind of make a small arch back here I think this looks kind of interesting and then pretty much everything I'm going to do here is to add one block here and then I'm going to take stairs <sighs> not take away stairs, I wanted, wanted to take stairs and well add some above the glass Gla glass glass god damn it and then I'm pretty much going to make this roof just a little bit more interesting from the inside or smoother if you will Mm, yep, like that. And let's just do it like this, and that looks better. And those are th simply things I didn't do them when we were building, simply because it was a little bit annoying. And you can fix them up here. You can leave them the way they were. You can add another stair here to cover this up. You could as well make another archway up here which is, by the way, a thing I didn't do on the original. Let's just do it for now, like this. And then once again it will look better there. So yeah, that's pretty much what I did to this room. I didn't do any interior design here, so you gotta come up with that yourself. Uh, let's just fix this up here by placing an upside down stair. Upside down stair. And well, you can place a, s um, a door here and then make a staircase up to the tower. On this part, I really don't know what to do uh, to, to make this look interesting. So pretty much what I did was simply to create different kinds of layers with a staircase and uh, which will eventually transform into a ladder which is going to go up. And so, so I'm not going to show you what to do with this, simply come up with your own thing. Um, I think the most important things are, first of all, this second layer here, and the first layer with the entrance hall down here. And once you, you've covered that, that's the rest is pretty much up to you. What you can do, of course, on these sides is once again to add the same kind of detail up here. And what you want to do is to make sure that you have an entrance to the towers here. And once again, the, these towers, I didn't do anything specific to them. Everything I did was to take planks, create a layer of planks, make a spiral staircase in the middle, go up, transform this into a ladder to get through here, and then I was up here and made like a platform. So that was pretty much everything I did. 
and I don't think you need to do more to make this thing look cool. The only thing you have to make sure, as you can see here, is to make the transition between the walkway up here and whoops, and this down here. Of course now with a ladder or whatever, or the spiral ca staircase going up here and then transforming to a ladder. I don't know. You have to decide for yourself. Um, as I said, I think these two rooms up there, the big one up there, the throne room or whatever, and the entrance area d down here are the most important of this build. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So this pretty much was the whole castle tutorial. I'm not going to make another part of the tutorial for the interior or anything else. So this was definitely it. I hope you enjoyed the ride and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you will build this castle and will have fun in the castle playing RP or whatever you like. And yeah, there's pretty much nothing left to say but I've been Madness64 and as always please rate, comment, subscribe, do as you will and I hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye bye.